Hi guys, it's Denma. Welcome back to the Wolf's Den, or welcome to the Wolf's Den. And today, you can see that I'm not in my natural habitat of the bedroom um, in my parents' house. Well, I'm at a motel, hotel, whatever. It's a day is in, it's fine. Um, yeah, so, you know that storm I told you about in my hospital emergency room vlog? That was knocking out the power? Well, I, we think it screwed up the breaker. So, every time we turn the AC on in the house, before, after about 30 or 40 minutes, it starts arcing in the breaker. So, we can't turn it on for a long period of time in the house. And it's hot. It is like 85, but the heat index is like 90 something. So, um, I decided to get a motel room. And because I don't do heat that well. And I was worried that I was going to be dehydrating again and start having palpitations again. So, I was like, Monday afternoon is the soonest people they can come to um, turn the power off so we can fix the breaker. And my dad was going to cut a few um, tree limbs around. Uh, uh, wires or whatever um, so I've got this from tonight till Monday night so I'm having like a little mini staycation this was the closest to where I live it's like 20 minutes away so um, if I forgot something I need something I can just drive down the street so, um, I'm going to Walmart like a mile I'm not used to being in the city I'm, uh, I miss having stuff conveniently at your fingertips like a pizza hut that delivers or something like that and they have like a, and this hotel has a refrigerator and a microwave. When we go to Duke, the VA, the rooms, they're stuck. They took away all the lamps. They took away the micro, well they didn't have a microwave, but they took away the coffee pot. I don't drink coffee, but we get the curate and um, chocolates. Um, this is coffee pot, dryer, iron, all that good stuff. Big king size bed just for me and a couch. Baby's first time in a motel room by herself. So, but I, mean, I brought it on 62 and it's already like within five minutes cooling this whole room down. So, I mean, it's not like the fanciest looking room. I mean, you can see where there's like cracks or whatever. But I mean, hey, $57 a night. And the um, spokesperson for this motel chain is Tormund from Game of Thrones, who's one of my favorite characters. So, yeah, they have a big cardboard cut out of him. He's not dressed in his Game of Thrones gear, of course. But um, I was hoping they'd have like a little standy or something like they had in the lobby. But no, I don't see one. But yeah, I was like, yeah, <laughs> Tormund. And they have free breakfast, free Wi-Fi, TV that I don't know if I'm going to actually watch. But um, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of nervous. I know I'm like 30, 33 years old. Get together. <laughs> it kind of feels good because it's like it, I actually get some privacy. Like when I'm in my parents' house and I'm sleeping or I'm watching YouTube videos or movies, like especially horror movies. Um, it can sound kind of like I'm watching something else and they're coming and looking at me like I'm like it's a scary movie I promise my parents know where I'm at and they know which room I'm in just in case they have to come up here or like if they come into town or something because if they come into town this is usually where they come so yeah I'm gonna chill out for a little bit uh, I'll give you like a little room tour thing and then I'm gonna go to Walmart get a set of pajamas because I wanted like a brand new set that's like my ritual is getting a new blanket and then like a for my head to wrap up in and instead of pajamas get some snacks um i don't know i might do wendy's for dinner because i haven't had that in a long time i might get really good for a triple <laughs> fun time oh i just wish this would be permanent i want my own place even if it's this big i could deal with this room living in a room this size I have plenty of room in here to put my figures and my dolls and my phone goes. Let me get you a tour of the room and then I will see you in another update. There's my AC so you'll hear that humming in the background. I'm on the second story and I've got a view of the pool that I cannot go in. I have a bathing suit and I could technically go in if I wanted to but I don't have anything to put my bag in or my pump in. We got a couple of lamps. We got a couch that pulls out into the bed. Then I got my computer over here with some Riverdale peeps on it. Tony Topaz got a lover. Microwave, fridge, TV, dresser, king size bed all to myself. This pretty sunset of downtown city where I'm at, but I'm not going to say. I've got 
full length mirror here, big old fancy mirror there. Coffee maker, um, hair dryer, iron, all that good stuff. And bathroom. So, it's pretty nice. And there's me. So yeah, that's the motel room. Um, it's like I said, it's not that like fancy, but it works for me. But yeah, I'm going to run into Walmart or get me a blanket. I might get a bottle of shampoo or because they have those little tiny, tiny bottles of shampoo and conditioner and stuff. And uh, that's not gonna work for my hair. So my hair's too long and too thick. There are no elevators here, so I'm having to walk up steps and. I did pretty good. I carried my backpack, my computer, and my um, cooler with my cassettes in it up all by myself. I just took my time. I didn't rush myself, obviously. There's no big, there's not a, lot, a whole lot of people here. I think there's maybe 10 cars in the parking lot. It's getting close to school going back, so. Um, but yeah, Walmart's just like a mile up the road and go get some things from there and probably go through the drive through at Wendy's and oh I might just get the Baconator because that's like the triple but I, just, I think they have just two patties but probably go by Wendy's that's probably what I'm going to eat tonight I'm going to get some snacks at Walmart like I said and um, just chill out and literally chill out um, I am I think like not even 10 minutes away from the hospital so that's good my dad really kind of wanted me to after I suggested it because he would feel safe with me here close to the hospital if something were to happen and he knows I can't take the heat very well that's why I don't go to the beach I don't unless it's like fall and it's cold out there because I get like sick um, I think that's what happened last time that caused my palpitations because I just I went out with my niece all day and it was like 90 something degrees and we were in and out of stores so I couldn't really keep cool and then we ate and I didn't eat anything. I got a kid, chicken nuggets kids meal but I ate like one nugget and just drank some of the drink and then I didn't eat anything the rest of the day because I had like that, those heat headaches from where you go in and out so much and it just, ugh, you just don't feel good. It sucks. I don't know how else to describe it. And then the next day, usually I have to, when I go out shopping or go out on the town, so to speak, um, I have to have like a recovery day afterwards because it just works on my system and my anxiety and me being so introverted. Like being around people that you don't know drains you or you're not comfortable with, they drain you. So, um, but yeah. I kind of wish I had a DVD player because I would have rented a red box, but I can just watch stuff on my computer. Unless I have music, then I'm gonna jam out to some music. I'm kind of ex like I said, I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous, kind of scared because it's gonna get dark and I don't have anybody to snuggle up to or cuddle up to, and I don't. I'm not the type of girl to be going making doing things in a hotel room, so I have to get me stuffed animal at Walmart because <laughs> I'm I am such a like mom's girl. Like I have separation anxiety for my mom. I try and get her to come at least for tonight, and I can take her back because she's gotta help my dad with everything. Um, Monday, but it's like fine, don't come. It was funny when I um, locked the car because I'm on the second floor and there's no elevator, so I had to go around to this step staircase and come up. I set the lock, and you know, when your car you lock your car, it beeps. All, and then all of a sudden, this dog starts barking. I'm like, oh, I'm home. So I think I saw Bichon Frise, which is like kind of looks like a little pool kind of dog chilling out by the pool with his owner so I'm like, I think that's pretty cool that they allow pets. I mean it's probably like 50 extra dollars or something. I don't know. I just cut back in um, from getting groceries and dinner um, and needless to say the sky has fallen out. You can probably see these drops on our shirt. Ugh. I'll insert some footage of what the storm looks like. Look at this cloud. Oh my gosh. I just got done getting my groceries and my Wendy's for dinner. Oh, it's going to be so good sleeping at night or either watching horror movies. I don't know. As soon as I got the, to the hotel or motel, whatever, the sky fell out and I had to fight the door because I didn't want to get up and go around the other side of the car because it was raining bullets. I mean, it's heavy. It's so hard. It's like soaks the outside rug or carpeting. But um, 
I had three bags to get in, plus carrying my drink from Wendy's up. <sighs> and the door didn't want to stay open. I'm wearing flip-flops, and they're the cheap Walmart kind, so they're slipping all over the place. So I have to take those off halfway up the stairs so I can walk up the stairs safely. And I'm just now arriving. Whew. I didn't think the storm was going to get here that quick. I knew it was coming, but Jesus. <sighs> I got a new blanket. I got a bath bomb. I got, like, shampoo and body wash. Um, all that good stuff, like the travel size, and pajamas, and like some snacks. I got some salads, and some Lunchables, some tea, some baked lays, and I can do a, a kind of a haul, but um, I'm waiting until the storm comes down because I couldn't carry the blanket too. So, and I got some animal crackers, I left those in the car, but I just brought cold stuff up that needed to be refrigerated. So, it's about... I'd say about 25 minutes later since the last clip. Um, it stopped raining, but it's still lightning outside. Um, I'm just, I sound horrible because I just walked up steps. I can't do steps. My heart. Oh, it, it, mm, don't mess with walking up steps. But um, yeah, I ran back down and got my blanket and my animal crackers and a couple of the things I left in the car so I can do a mini haul or whatever. Got some Korean kaboom going on, but this Wi-Fi sucks. I literally had to put this video on pause to let it buffer, and it's supposed to be Wi-Fi. And there's my Pokemon wallet. I have the matching purse. If you go back, I had, did what's in my purse tag a while back. I have a matching purse to, the, to that. I got the Baconator combo with some chicken nuggets. <sighs> because I haven't had the chicken nuggets in so long. So I'll probably not eat the burger tonight. I'll probably eat it more maybe later, but not tonight. Alright, I'm sitting down because I'm lazy. I got some Lunchables, some string cheese, some tea, and a couple of salads. There's my cassettes and my ice pack that is refreezing. I got this blanket. It was supposed to be $15, but it was $19, but I like the colors. Got some animal crackers. Um, baked lays. They were on sale, so I went ahead and got those flavors that I like. And I got like the travel size like deodorant, makeup remover, and shampoo, and some cute little pink fox pajamas. I think they're adorable. They were like nine bucks, and I got a bath bomb because <laughs> you know it's a little staycation. So it is a fairy bath bomb, and this one is supposed to fizz and spin. So hopefully it works. But yeah, that's that. There's my BB-8 suitcase type backpack. I'm so tired. I miss that now for about five minutes, maybe, if that. It takes me a while to catch my breath because of the hypertension. <sighs> Having an invisible illness sucks. Especially when you have to use the scooters. And it's so irritating because these older people, they'll be looking at you like, why the hell are you in a scooter? And all I do is like hold up my lines and say, hey, I got this in my chest. Keeps me alive. I can't walk in big stores like Walmart. Um, small stores I'm okay with as long as I pace myself. Um, but yeah, Walmart, no. No child. I can't walk in that store. Um, I guess somewhere close by they're doing like construction work and they've got a bunch of contractors here down like on the first floor and it goes straight and it turns into like an L shape. And they are yelling so loud. I can hear them. Like, um,. One of the dudes walked by here and yelled, We can't go back to the construction site, it's underwater. And I'm like, Really? You couldn't go wait to tell them way down there? Jesus. I hope they're quiet tonight. And then a lot of people are coming in. I guess there's some new some people from Virginia and stuff. Um, a lot of, um, I'm stuttering. I'm still waiting for my heart to start racing and it's making me stutter. Um, I saw like two or three vintage cars, like, a T, like almost like a Ford Model T and a, an old blue Studebaker and there was another one. So I don't know if they had like a car show in town or sometimes during the summer at Walmart parking lots around here in the country. They um, have meetups and show off their vintage cars and just talk shop and be petrol heads and all that. I know that's the British term but I watched Top Gear until the boys quit and then I watched um, <laughs> their show. Uh, I love him and he's so funny. Uh, I like, well, I like them all. 
but they all had their characteristics. I, I really can't think of what I like the best. I don't know. I, I can sympathize with May because I'm so slow and I want everything to be perfect. So, um, yeah, I don't know a thing about cars, but just watch them and these projects and like they're the people that made me fall in love with the Bugatti Veyron they had it on one of their shows I was like because oh. you know I'm a 90s kid um, I'm 84 model but um, I grew up in the 90s and throughout the 90s the fast car to get would be a Dodge Viper I always wanted a Dodge Viper um, they're like 40 grand um, if you can find a good one used now it's Corvettes so but um, that was that had been like my, my fantasy car until I saw Top Gear and saw the Bugatti Veyron and just the design kind of reminds me of a Prowler. Um, and they don't make those anymore, but I'd love to have one of those. Uh, or SSR, the you know the Chevy truck convertible thing. So all the weird looking cars I like. So and they don't usually last very long because people don't like them. They're not sleek. They don't. <laughs> They don't fit in, I guess. So it's like my Aztec I used to have. I would still have it if it wasn't if what I had to fix in it, which was the whole eight fan system and something with the electronic system because the um, windows and stuff wouldn't go down. The only thing that would work was the sunroof. If that wouldn't have been more than the value of the car itself, I would have fixed it, but. I miss my baby. I love my Aztec. Finally, I can feel my heart slowing down now. Just pace yourself. I wish I, I could have asked for one of the first four, but I don't know if... Because they... I, don't, I think this is the last, like, single-person room, supposedly. According to Hotels.com. Um, I didn't want a king-size bed, but it was okay. I mean, I'll take it. Um, yeah. So... Since I just got a bath outside, it's probably going to be a little while before I take a bath because I'm still, I smell like a wet dog. <laughs> oh, I hate it when you get clothes and everything wet and everything soggy and I don't, I don't think I bought an extra shirt. <laughs> I know I stuffed my sports bra in my bag of TMI, but I don't think I stuffed an extra shirt in there, so. I've got the AC off because I was freezing. <sighs> I brought my pill cat, my pill box thing. No one's ever really seen it, but this is my pill box. I got pills, let's see, and every day, they have four times a day, morning, noon, evening, and night, or p.m., whatever, a.m., p.m., you know, so, and I've got stuff in every dang one of them. So I take my heart meds in the morning, and my remembrance in the morning, and a muscle relaxer in the morning, then I take at noon another heart pill, my two fluid pills, um, and another back uh, muscle relaxer. Because it's a lot of my pain is my muscles spasming, but the muscle relaxer makes me like so tired, and sometimes it makes my makes my like arms feel weird. Like I have to like wrap them around something and kind of flex them before I can like go to sleep. It's weird. That's why I always sleep with stuffed animal. I was gonna get this cute Pua stuffed animal, but it was fifteen dollars, and I was like. Eh. I don't need it. I got pillows I can snuggle with, so they didn't have any other cheap ones. And then um, evening, another muscle relaxer. I have gas pills because for some reason I can't pass gas. Um, I don't know why. I've been to the stomach doctor, um, the gastro, gastro, whatever. Um, and instead of trying to find out why, she kept asking me, "Well, why can't you?" I'm like, "That's what I'm freaking here for." She was just like. Ugh. And then I have stool softeners because my tramadol and a couple of these other medications cause constipation. So yay! Most people that are on medication have to take stool softeners on a regular basis. So otherwise, we have pr problem children to deal with. Then at bedtime, it's my mirtazapine, my um, Seroquel, another muscle relaxer, and clonazepam, and my final um, adipus because I take that three times a day. Like I can do a whole video on my um, meds or um, how I mix my cassettes, how I change them out, you know, that type of thing. I don't know if people would be interested in it, but it might help somebody in the future that starts on this CAD pump. 
um, they can like save it. Like if somebody they know, like if they get sick and they can't fix it themselves, they could say, "Hey, just pull up this video, and it'll show you how to do it." So I'm thinking about doing that. That just makes the whole like six last night. So because you can they once you mix them, they're good for seven days. So we just do six at a time. So I've been waiting ten minutes for the internet to connect. It's supposed to say days in guest and or Wi-Fi, there it goes. It'll do that thing and try to connect. It takes about three or four minutes, then disconnects and goes into hiding. Um, I've been sitting here for 20 minutes trying to load this video at the lowest setting for just so I can at least hear Pop Lux talk and uh, nothing's happening. Uh, it'll show me having four bars of signal, but it's not working. So, days in Wi-Fi, what are you doing? So yeah, that's kind of frustrating. Oh, look at this. I look like Ray from Star Wars. It's just my bun right here, and then the leftover hair kind of like goes in a bun itself down there. That might be a good cosplay for me, or costume for... Halloween. I have the dark hair anyway. Um, but yeah, I've been sitting here waiting for the internet to work. Um, no look. It's still raining a little bit outside, but it's more like a mist and it's not like rain bullets like it was, so that's good. Word of God, just let me watch Pop Looks. Jesus Christ. I love Nady. He is such a good YouTuber, such a sweet guy. Because I've um, asked him several, on several occasions and messaged him on YouTube when they had the messaging feature. Because I think that's been removed now. I'm wiping the sweat off my drink. Multitasking. But anyway, because um, I was just starting out with makeup. And because you see where I get so red. And this is actually not that bad. But it gets worse than this. And people stare. They get worried. They're like, are you okay? You know, that type of stuff. So, I have to wear makeup now to cover it. That way, I don't, like, scare people. And he was really nice and taught me a lot um, behind the scenes. of like, what I should try and um, make sure I use a color corrector because I knew nothing about makeup. Um, I knew what foundation and eyeshadow blush and highlighter were, but that's it. Um, I knew about color correctors primers, color correcting primers, um, setting spray, concealer, setting powder, and I didn't know about setting powder for a long time, or I did, but I didn't know it was such an important step until I watched Claudina 9, I was searching up Monster High and Claudine is my favorite character, and Claudina 9 came up, and it's, um, I don't know what, um, pronouns to use, I'm gonna say they, they, um, were really sweet and answered more talked replied to my comment about how I never realized setting powder was such an important step because I didn't do that for a while and then I went and got some that Cody's airspun powder which I'm finally starting to get low on. I to believe it's almost 10 30. I'm getting ready if this internet doesn't hurry up and fix itself I'm getting ready to just take a bath and call it a night. I mean this is I'm used to slow internet because we live out in the boonies and the internet's not slow or not fast out there. But this is like dial up slow. And it's frustrating because it's supposed to have free Wi Fi. But no network's found. I don't know if it's the weather or what. High speed internet access available at this location. Right. P numbers or something. So let me try typing in one of those. Oops. 
that did absolutely nothing. Yeah, not a thing, but I don't feel bad. Especially since the tram all kicked in and tucked my back out a lot. But it sucks though because your body gets dependent on it. So if you miss a day or two, like I usually have to take two doses a day, especially if I'm going out. Um, which is like I'll take a dose when I wake up and like if I wake up say five or six and then another dose about four or five in the morning depending on um, how close it is to when my parents wake up you guys like they wake up anywhere from 6 30 to 8 30 and then I go usually go in their room and sleep Hey guys, I got my pajamas set out. I've got the tags off of them. I always get a 2X because I like them baggy. And I could go a size smaller, but I choose not to. I just got the travel size deodorant and shampoo. I don't really condition my hair too much because I don't notice a big difference. Um, unless like I've just dyed it in my bath bomb. So I'm going in here looking at the tub. And for some it smells like a dead mouse is in here. <laughs> It didn't smell like this when I first got in here, um, but let me see. All right, there's the drain, and here is the stopper. I don't know how this works. You'd think it would just go in there, but it doesn't. So, and it looks like there's like rocks or something in there. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do, since I want to use the bath bomb, so what I'm going to do is use one of these washcloths to bathe with and use the other one to plug up the drain. Maybe, maybe that might work. Okay, so my plan is sort of working. I can still hear water draining, but it's not as bad. Um, yeah. And I have it all the way on the hot side and it's fairly lukewarm. So. If I had to fault two things from this hotel stay, it is the Wi-Fi sucks and it's gotten better now because it's later. I think everybody's gone to bed or going to bed and they're off the internet. I'll put the door open. I'm just care. And the bathtub, I can't have a proper, like, in the bathtub I can't have like a proper soak. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. So, alright. There's already gold glitter all over the, um, vanities by the sink is so let's see if this does what it says it does am i supposed to have it like the water running is that what it, it, it it's not really spinning i bet the water's not hot enough oh oh there we go there it goes it's doing its thing oh i can zoom in on this phone I didn't know I could do that. I knew I could do it when I'm like, taking pictures. Didn't know when I could do it while I was recording video. It smells good. But like, the glitter just all sunk to the bottom. I don't, might not be able to see. You can see a little bit of specks of it down at the bottom on the mat. Okay. So I just let that dissolve, I guess, while I take my bath, and it, it's aroma or whatever, it helps relieve stress, I don't know. I've never uh, used one that's supposed to do stuff, so. It's coming to see me! I bet if the water was hotter, it'd probably be a little bit better, but it's better than the one from Hot Topic because it actually like spins and stuff. Oh, you can see the glitter. Oh, I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can see the glitter like sinking down. That's really pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like checking out the tub. It's like, ooh. I'm not talking like it's a live thing. All right, gonna go take my bath now. Okay, we got an outfit of the night. These are my jammies. And like I said, they're two wicks, so they're really baggy on me. So the bath is done. I hear I didn't brush it yet, so I just dried it enough so that it doesn't drip too bad. Um, bath bomb was 
10 out of 10 um would recommend i'm actually gonna go start getting those get like about five or six and um, get them in a little basket and put them in um like the ones just with glitter <laughs> just like the ones with glitter um at the beginning of the month and just like have one special bath a week um like pick one day that i really feel like crud because i really the the hibiscus smelled so good and i didn't know it was going to turn pink like dark pink like this fox pink um and i thought it was bleeding for a second there and it scared me but then i saw it was fizzing out this dye so it didn't stain anything and then it got real pretty when i because i have purple that splat midnight amethyst for brunettes purple hair dye in my hair so I'm, it don't might be bleeding back there because it's still dripping a little bit but i'm not worried about that um but yeah when i went to wash my hair and rinse it out the purple and the magenta mixed oh, so pretty and the butt bath bomb had glitter throughout the whole thing i thought it was just on the top so like everywhere you looked there was glitter and it was shimmering and i was like oh i feel like i'm in it i really do feel like i'm in a, like a pixie or fairy lake or bath or whatever so i the price point on the end cap was 396 um, but I don't I think that was for the two pack, so I don't know, I didn't look at the price. I was like, ooh, fairy bath bomb with glitter, let me try it. I should have gotten a face mask to try because that would have been fun. But the heat, um it didn't get like I said much hotter than lukewarm, but it did help my back a little bit, so that was good. And I, I had brought this cup to rinse cup I had brought this cup to rinse my hair out in because uh, I don't want to take like, a shower, I wanted a bath. And since I can't like lean back and submerge myself underneath the water, um, I was gonna bring that to rinse my hair. Well, I forgot it, so I had to make do. I had to like dip the for my forehead underwater and like, work with it because I couldn't get this wet. So. Uh, and I found more bruising under here. I'm like, where are these bruises coming from? Oh, I don't know. Maybe like there's a vitamin I'm like deficient in or something. I know I'm like my potassium always runs low. But I would have thought that the doctors would have seen it if, since they did a full blood panel, so. I don't know. I was like, I want something to snack on, but I don't know if that's my burger or there's like chips. I don't know. I won't eat the whole thing tonight. I'll eat like half of it, maybe. Um, but yeah, it smells so good in here. And that Garnier Fruit Teas, I haven't actually used their shampoo. I've used their hair dye. I used the, um the darker red one to give me kind of like a plum look and the shampoo smells so good because i've been using aussie bedhead or something um it's aussie i know that but it's like for messy hair like texture or whatever <laughs> but this um to go get some i remember when i was a teenager it was all the rage to get herbal essences like you were cool if you used herbal essences shampoo i used a cheap suave 98 cent bottle of strawberry shampoo or apple um and i remember back then they used to have like back to school kits for boys and girls but the girls would have like my doll and pants and feminine needs and like chapstick and little things girls need like a puberty package i guess and they had them for boys too and i was like they don't do that anymore it's really cool especially when you're holding it and it like starts dissolving under your finger it's weird i really enjoyed that uh usually i go to bed early after i take a bath but i don't know if i'm going to do that tonight since i'm all by myself i don't have anywhere to go i don't have to get up early i don't have to switch out i might just you know sleep in stay up and sleep in <laughs> Because checkout time, I'm checking out Tuesday at 11. If you want some good southern sweet tea that's not like going to give you a diabetic coma, this stuff is good. This is the only tea I swear by. It's, hmm, it's comparable to Bojangles, but better and a little bit sweeter. Theirs tends to have, like, not quite as, I don't know, it just tastes better than McDonald's tea. Because McDonald's tea is always too sweet and you have to, like, go 75%. <laughs> Sweet and then a little unsweet to even it out. This stuff is so good. Um, I don't, my first time in the hospital, I was, my parents were coming up to visit, and I asked them to bring me a jug of tea, and I told them I only drink this brand because most of the other, almost of the brands um, have 
lemon flavoring in it and this one doesn't. I don't like the lemon flavoring because it tastes like it's been sitting out all day. So I don't know why people like it in there, but anyway, that's their deal. And they come and there's a bigger size. It's like a gallon jug. And they come tote night in and the doctor sees it and freaks out thinking I'm going to drink that all in one sitting or like all in one day. I'm like, no, this is going to last me like three days. So, because that one didn't need to be refrigerated. Um, because they have some that don't need to be refrigerated and they have some that do. This is one of the ones that has to be, well, it's supposed to be refrigerated. Like, I'll do about half of this at night, I bet. It doesn't tell you how much caffeine's in it. Oh yeah, it does. 15 milligrams for 12 fluid ounces. Which is the serving. And it's got four and a half servings, so that's not too bad. Very low sodium, that's awesome. That's the only thing I have to watch, is my sodium. But I never get even close to like the daily intake, so but, like if there's a day that I eat fast food, then I'm kind of like I kind of eyeball it and kind of watch myself after I eat the fast food. But yeah, this is this is good tea. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you something that I think was really cool. I was coming up here to look and see if we were still having lightning, and obviously there's nobody in the pool. But look in between the three and four foot sign, closer to the four foot sign. They have a um, chair that swings, that you put um, people that are wheelchair bound. You sit in that, you buckle it, buckle it, and it's got armrests and support, and you just, you can put them in the pool and they can have pool time too. Um, I can zoom in. See? I think that's really cool. I've never seen that in a hotel. And to be like, we're on the cheaper brand of hotel, that's a really cool thing in them to have. So, paraplegics or um, any people that are like maybe paralyzed or even like, say, older people, like elderly people that have a hard time, just strap them in. They can just sit there and not have to worry about drowning. So, that's really, really cool. So, I see a sign behind it calls it a pool lift. But yeah. I think that's really cool. I wouldn't have thought of doing anything like that. Um, like, I would think maybe hospitals where they do water therapy or something, or specialists, but for a hotel to have that, especially like the lower end hotel, I mean, that's really cool. I think of any place that has a pool should have one of those. So, props, that's one thing about this hotel that I think is really cool. It's not like I can use it, but it's there and it's just, very inclusive, so good on you, Dave. There's the radar. I am right, I'm, I'm not there. I'm about right here, and this is coming our way. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. I love this type of weather though, except when I get caught out in the rain trying to carry my groceries in here. <laughs> Yeah, it just got done raining, it's thundering a little bit, a little bit of lightning. I have the window, like the curtain drawn on the window just because I don't like the feeling of people. Um, yeah, so I just showed you the radar and it's really quiet now, so I think everybody's pretty much asleep except for me. So, you know, I'm going to have to have like a little dance party with my music, so I'm going to listen. Oh gosh. I don't even think about this. One of my favorite female artists that's like not as known as like Taylor Swift or Nicki Minaj or Ariana Grande is Kim Petra. She has got, she's so adorable and talented and her, every one of her songs has a like killer hook and beat and um, wow. That's some heavy rain. Um, you probably can't hear it. Um, but and her song, Heart to Break, oh gosh, I just, she has Nikita Dragon in her video for that. And I know she shouldn't be judged for what Nikita Dragon has done in the past, but I just, her being associated with her in this video, I'm so worried. I hope people don't come here bullying her. Kim Petras is like the best, one of the best pop type artists that stands up for LGBTQ rights. Because Kim Petras started out as Tim Petras. Um, and ever since she was little, she knew she was going wanted to be a girl. Her parents understood her. 
completely at that age. They had just turned like unisex clothing. Um, and I think when she was like 15, she got like the okay from, because when you do a gender change, you usually have to go to a therapist or a psychologist um, and make sure, like, let them evaluate the situation to make sure that's what you really want um, and that it's not just like a phase or whatever. Um, and she went through it, passed all of her little requirements, and I think at 15 she did, she changed gender, she had started, I guess, hormone therapy, whatever her process was, um, to become Kim Petrus, she did. So a lot of the people in this video are LGBTQ, which Nikita Dragon, we know, started out as a male, and like, I don't know much about her history, but I do know she's trans, um, I believe. Um, that, uh, I believe that's the right term to use. I don't know. I get nervous when I talk about this. Um, because I don't want to offend anybody. But, yeah, she's just so cute. And her songs are so good. And I could just listen to them all day. It's just, mm, mm, mm. So you need to check her out. She's dropping new music. Um, she's not, she's wanting one of her songs to get big. Like, this one, Hard to Break, which I'm getting ready to listen to, has... 3,512,197 views and she's got 99,000 subscribers, 34,000 likes, and 1.1 thousand dislikes. But Akita Dragon is in this video and I just hope that people don't come for Kim because um, of Nikita Dragon and all that BS that's been going on with that. This song, every time it opens, I think it's Nine Inch Nails Closer, and it's just such a good pop song. And she has another one called Faded. I love it. And she always, like, in two of her three music videos, she has a praying mantis. Pretty sure it's I Don't Want It All. Um, that's the only video I haven't been able to find the praying mantis in, but I did find Paris Hilton. She's in that video. But, like, in Heart to Break, you see it, and she has it on her hand, and then in... Um, faded, you can find it really easy in there. It's crawling over the money that she has, like laid down. So, and in this video, I find it hilarious because this video is like crystal themed, like she's in a crystal tower and sparkly stuff and all that, and everything's like clear and transparent. And I hope that means the power doesn't go out. I don't think they'd have generated if the power goes out here. I'm going to be so pissed. But anyway, um, Nikita Dragon is sitting in the background on a phone. The phone is actually an original, like, Game Boy color that's transparent. Like, you can tell. And it even has a cartridge in the back. I mean, I can't tell what video game it is, but it is a Game Boy color. Not the, like, advanced one, but the other one. Um, and I'm just like, that's hilarious. But I'm going to play this video. See, it sounds like Nine Inch Nails, doesn't it? I smell like brushing the hairs. It don't look half as bad. One of the thing about dyeing your hair is to bleed. 